When I'm driving around Ottawa, I love to keep my eyes peeled for farm market stands like this one. You never know exactly what you're going to find, but whatever it is, it's going to be at the peak of freshness. Aren't these colorful carrots just so great? I can't wait to make a salad with them. When you're working with carrots as fresh as these, there's no need to peel them. Just give them a good wash and they're ready to go. I'm going to trim the ends off here. And then we're going to get busy grating. And we'll just use enough to make about two cups of grated carrots. All right. So next up, we're going to get our vinaigrette going. It's always great to make some of the steps ahead of time if you can, and the vinaigrette you can certainly prepare a day or two ahead and refrigerate. So we're going to start with some lemon juice. We've got a nice piece of carrot floating in there. And some Dijon mustard. That's great because it helps the dressing emulsify or stay blended. And because this salad is very popular in France, this is a real classic French lemon vinaigrette. A Little bit of cayenne pepper for some nice heat. Because the carrots are so sweet, we kind of want to counteract that with a bit of punch. Maple syrup. In France, they would probably use honey, but of course, being Canadian, we're going to throw in some maple syrup. And a little bit of salt and pepper. You don't want the dressing to be too powerful because the carrots have such a delicious natural flavor on their own. There we go. We'll give this a little shake. I always like to make my vinaigrettes in a jar because they're so easy to blend. And then we'll add our olive oil. You could use sunflower or canola oil if you prefer. I really like the flavor of olive oil in my vinaigrettes. And that's it, quick, that simple. And next up, we're gonna add some fresh green onion. If you don't have green onion on hand, you can always use um, sweet onion cut very finely or even shallots. And we're just going to mince it up. You don't want it so fine that you can't taste it. And it's nice to have the pieces visible for color in the salad as well. And we're looking for about a quarter cup of onion. A couple more pieces. And again, make sure you save your ends and you can roast them up before boiling down to make vegetable stock. We'll scrape those in. There we go. And last but not least, some parsley. The French love their parsley. I really like the flat leaf parsley as I find it has more flavor, but you could always use curly parsley as well. And the best way to cut it is just to kind of jumble it up in a ball, make a few cuts in those directions, and then you can mince it into little pieces. There's lots of ways to play around with this salad. If you're a big fan of cilantro, you could add that. It's not typical of what they do in France, but it would be very delicious. And this salad is wildly popular. You'll see it on so many menus in France, especially at this time of year and into the fall when carrots are at their peak. All right, so what a colorful bowl we have there. And now we're gonna drizzle the dressing. And I always like to say to just start with about half and give it a little toss. You want it well coated, but you don't want to puddle in the bottom of the bowl. That means you've overdressed your salad. Just give it a little toss here. Get the herbs and the carrots well blended. And the carrots will soak up a fair bit of dressing, so I can see that I can afford to add a little bit more here. This would be a lovely lunch idea served with some hard boiled eggs and sliced cold cuts, for example or even just with baguette and cheese. All right, and it's that simple. If we wanna make it look a little bit pretty, we'll just tidy up the edges of the bowl and perch some parsley right on the top. And there's our French grated carrot salad.